Welcome back everyone, this is Steven Choi. Today we are going to start with the question number 37. Okay, let's look at the question number 37. On a pre-calculus quiz, a teacher found out that the one two-point question was wrong. To be fair, the teacher added two points to the scores of each student. Okay, so which of the following is not true about the new scores for this quiz? So, which of the following is not true? So what happened? In a quiz, um, there's one question, two point question was wrong, therefore she added two points to the scores of each student, each and every student, each and every student. Okay, so which is not true? When um, she added two points to each student, then the, we can um, easily realize that the mean value, median value, and the mode of the new scores has increased by two points as well, right? Therefore, A, C, and D is the, right, uh, uh, is the right statement. What about B? The standard deviation of a new score is increased by two points. It is wrong. Why? Because what is the standard deviation? Right, it is the difference among the values, right? So, even though the score has increased um, by two points, that, but there is no difference among those values. Why? Because every and each one of the students' scores has increased by two points, right? Therefore, their uh, standard deviation of the new scores will stay the same, not increased by two points. Therefore, the wrong answer is B. B is the answer for the, um, this question. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next question, number 38. The diagram shown below sh uh, represents the graph of y equals f and x function. If g gx function is 1 over f and x function, what is the value of x that makes g, uh, g function to be impossible to define? Okay, when gx function is equal to 1 over f and x function, when gx function is impossible to define, then the denominator got to be equal to zero, right? The denominator, whatever makes f and x zero, will, be, uh, will make g function impossible to define. Therefore, let's find when f and x is equal to zero. When f and x is equal to zero, I see when x is zero, and when x is two, then f and x gets uh, zero. Therefore, um, the value of x, which makes gx to impossible to define, is 0, 2, which is, in our answer choices, d is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 39. From the figure, um, figure shown below, what is the value of sine x? Okay, so, what are we given? We are given a triangle, and we are given a 3 length, and we are looking for the angle here, right? The angle here. So, which law should we use? Should we lose, uh, use sine law or cosine law? Right, we should use cosine law. Why? Because we, are, we know the length of the three sides, right? Okay, law of cosine, what was this? It was that the root 26 square is equal to 5 square plus 7 square minus 2 times 5 times 7 times cosine of angle x. We don't know this, x. Okay, so if you put this in your calculator and calculate this accordingly, you will get x is equal to, a uh, cosine x is equal to uh, 0 0.686, right? Therefore, x is approximately equal to 46.708 degrees. Okay, but what are we looking for? We are looking for the value of sine x, right? Therefore, put that sine x is equal to, uh, if you put uh, 46, whatever this is, in place of x, then you will get it is equal to 0 0.373. Therefore, the answer should be 0 0.73, which is, in our answer choices, A is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 40. Evaluate um, limit when x is approaching to 1 x squared minus 3x plus 2 over 1 minus x. Okay, the first thing you need to do for this kind of question is that you should factor denominator first. Okay, so we are given x squared minus 3x plus 2. If you factor this, it is 1, negative 1, negative 2. Um, therefore, it is x, x negative 1 and x minus 2, right? x minus 1, x minus 2. 